Hello guys and welcome back to another video, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows Me in VirtualBox. Before we get started, please vote up in the poll what my next video should be about. Also share this video, if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more click that subscribe button. Also if you want to support me, you can donate to the link into the description. But with this being said, let's get started. All you will need is the zip in the description and the, um, the emulator. You can use either VirtualBox or VMware if you want to know how to get that free, full and legal, the link will be in the description to the video. All the links will be down in the description, so once you get the zip, extract it, even the built-in extractor uh, works, and then you'll get these three files. Now let's delete the zip, so you'll get these three files, okay? Uh, and the zip is not a malware or something, I created it myself and uploaded it. So it's not malware and you'll get also the license key. So all we need to do is actually open up the, the VirtualBox or VMware. Okay, so now you click on new and then you want to put in here any name you want. I'm going to put in here Windows Me. Make sure that selected Microsoft Windows, Windows Me. Click next, select any amount of RAM you want. I'm going to put 256, but don't put too much either. It's not going to recognize and it's going to give you an error. So now create the hard drive, make it fixed size for best performance, and then put in an amount, uh, about 4 or 5 gigs will be enough. Uh, you can move it, uh, you can put another partition, I'm not going to do this right now. Um, so I'm going to click save, and this works e either if you install it in other operating system like Mac or Ubuntu. So once you click create, I'm going to fast forward right here, it's going to create the virtual hard drive. Now what you want to do is click over to settings. And over to settings, you want to go over to system and make sure that uh, you get these settings. Go over to display and do not enable any of these. You can uh, just put a little more video RAM. I'm going to put here 24 megabytes. Then into the floppy controller uh, under storage, you're going to get the OAK file for the, flop, uh, the image file. And over to the disk, you're going to choose the ISO. So let's go and uh, choose the Windows Me ISO, the OEM, and open it. And then what you need to do is click OK. Then you're going to start the machine. Okay. So now you want to go ahead and boot from CD, start Windows Setup, okay, by Ender, and then you're going to wait. And now you want to click Ender, so press Ender, configure unallocated disk space, yes, click yes, enter, boot from CD, start from CD. Now it's going to format the drive C, I fast forward it, click enter. Now it's going to start up the setup, click on the uh, display and then you want to click capture to be able to use the mouse of the virtual machine. For older operating system, this is how you do it. C and then click next, click finish. So now you're going to wait a little bit. I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so now what you need to do is capture again and then you're going to restart now. 
and then over here you're gonna boot from the hard disk this time okay so boot from the hard disk and now it's gonna come to setup again I'm gonna fast forward okay so it's done right here and it's gonna set up real quick and now what you need to do is type in the name I accept click next and now what you need to do is put in the product key okay so we're gonna open up that text file and you're gonna get that product key okay so I'm gonna put them side to side I'm gonna snap, snap the windows and I'm gonna fast forward and I'm gonna put in that license key okay guys so click next I'm gonna close the notepad and now um, what we're gonna do is click over to finish so all you need to do is click the finish button and then what's gonna happen is that it's gonna restart again so now you're gonna go ahead and pause the machine you're gonna go to devices and you're gonna remove both discs the floppy and the CD now we're gonna go and reason the machine And now I'm gonna fast forward again. Okay, so it's done. I'm gonna fast forward right here again. It's gonna just set up uh, some things. This should not take a lot. Okay, so now click restart now, or you can either wait those 10 seconds and it's gonna restart automatically. And then what you need to do is wait and you're done. Now just put in your username, okay? Just put in your username. I didn't choose any password. Um, uh, this is how you set this up. So now it's just a quick setup, just like setting a new device, okay? Because Windows is installed. So you're gonna wait. Okay, here you go. That's how I get Windows Me. Thanks for watching. See you next time on How to IT.